Canton's Morning News with Pam Cook. You can find out what's happening. It doesn't matter where it is. Keeps you up on current events. News Talk 1480. WHBC. Ten minutes now before nine on News Talk 1480 WHBC. Pam Cook along with Gary Rivers in studio with me today. And, you know, we've been talking about having fun at the workplace. And, you know, as Halloween approaches, which it's tomorrow, by the way. Yes. A lot of people really get into Halloween. And sometimes at work, that can be trouble. And that's why on our WHBC Newsline right now, we are bringing in corporate trainer Royal and Reed. Good morning, Royal and. Good morning, Pam. How are you? Uh, we're doing great. You know, I'm not really a Halloween person. I know, but I know people who are. I'm a big Halloween person. How are can you? you get in trouble at a Halloween party at work? Uh, maybe Royal Lynn needs to answer that question for us. How do we get in trouble at a Halloween party at work? Pam and Gary, I think the most important thing we have to look at is remember what do we go to work for? This company is trying to make money. And it's hired a group of employees who want to make money as well and help the company be successful. We do want to have fun at work mm-hmm. because that brings us together and do things. But what happens is a lot of people forget about the fun and they work so hard to be funny without giving thought to it. And at, to what expense the cost is going to pay be to them or someone else down the road. You know, there are some people who are offended by Halloween. Oh, there really are. You mean the religious aspect yeah, or the I anti-religious guess, yeah. aspects so of it. So, so Royal, and would you think that that's something you have to keep in mind as well? And that goes into the cultural area. Every company has to determine themselves of mm-hmm. you know what they want to do and how they do it. Because as I mentioned, they're always looking for activities and functions to bring people together. You know, everyone works hard, and something fun is good. And, and like I said, it can help build relationships. But when you begin, you have to look at the cultural sensitivity aspect. And the other thing is the sexual, sexual harassment aspect that companies have spent a lot of money on for a purpose. Right. So we, you have to be sensitive as what your costumes you might wear or may not wear. Absolutely, because when you begin to look at cultures, is one thing, because we, we know history has always had costume balls right. or costume parties. And those are parties, but when you begin to cross over with fun moves to funny, is it funny to make a joke out of someone's culture? And those are the things you have to look at. And there have you know, been a number of examples when you can just see um, ranging from taking uh, – a beautiful Japanese regalia, and then making it a sexy outfit, a combination of both. And even if you're wearing a costume, if you're going to be in a funny, quote-unquote, let your hair down, you're drinking, you're carrying on, right. it's that respectful versus a costume ball, a costume party. I yeah. think most people should know that at the workplace, you've got to be careful on that. When you go out on private parties somewhere else, you might get a little bit racier, I suppose. But at the workplace... You have to be careful in the 21st century. Would you suggest avoiding it altogether? Pam, that's something that everyone has to look at. But I think one thing that really helps is if the company would communicate expectations. Even if it's something to say, hey, come and have fun, but remember these are the things we want to do um, or these are the things we don't want to do. But, hey, let's do it in blah, 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 blah. So if everybody knows the expectations up front, what the – you know, the, the ground rules are, quote, right. unquote, for the party, which, um, you know, as Gary said, it could be different when you're outside of the workplace. Got it. Makes All right. Sense. Corporate trainer Royal and Reed, we appreciate your time this morning. Glad to be with you, Tim and Gary. Camden's Morning News with Pam Cook. just wanted to thank you so much for your radio show. It has made a world of difference since I've been listening to you.